that's over. Actually, I want to touch upon that, which is the upskilling part. Okay, one of the things I hear, especially when tech CEOs talk about it, right? Hey, if AI takes away this particular skill and I'm not, I'm outskilled by it, what am I going to do? When they often say, well, you need to upskill, you know, there'll be plenty of opportunities you can, you can otherwise do. Now, my question to that, first of all, what are they and how much time do you have? Because 10 years ago, if you're knocked down, you have the time to rebuild. An example of that is, um, you know, going from software side of it or digital AI to physical AI, which is run by the uh, dark factories, of course. So, and now you're building autonomous systems to basically communicate between uh, uh, between different processes, you know, even different pro factories as well. Right? Yeah. The, and how do you yeah. how do you see the labor market changing? And so the um, yeah. this is again an example of where we do have to change our thinking very considerably. I, that's over um, because, as you say, you know, there's a very great risk that the skill set I go and acquire, um, having you know lost my job in whatever capacity. I'll go and get some new skills, and those new skills, by the time I bring them to market, are completely irrelevant, and then I'm, I'm going around again. So um, this is the worry. And I think the phrase that I've heard that best describes who's going to succeed in this world is the permanent cohort. In other words, the people who are able to keep learning the new skills and ride that wave and, and keep staying ahead of it. Now, that implies to me that governments world over need to be preparing people to be in the permanent cohort so your skill the, the skill you need to take through life going forward is the skill of keep learning and keep uh, very quickly taking on new, new sets of skills and new stuff um, now that is much easier said than done 